Arabi, the wolf killer, the beloved huge dog of the Persians. According to Iranians, the Sarabi is the ancestor of Kangals and Caucasian shepherds, and a breed about whom we know very little. According to Persian legends, Peritas, the dog who saved Alexander the Great several times, was also a Sarabian descendant. Their past is many thousand years long and is almost certainly they are the descendants of ancient Molossers. What makes Sarabi dogs so special and what is worth knowing about them? Wolf killers? As we've talked about before, there isn't really a dog in the world that can defeat an adult gray wolf in a face-to-face -face fight, and such fights rarely happen in real life. If you would like to see this interview, please click the link in the upper right corner. The primary task of shepherd dogs, known as wolf or bear killers, has always been to work in packs to keep large carnivores away from the livestock and areas under their care. Yet, in the vernacular of almost every dog-owning nation, the term wolf killer is used, and among the Persians, it is synonymous with Sarabai. Mastiff or shepherd dog? Sarabi dogs are mentioned and known by countless names in many parts of the world, the most popular of which are the Persian Mastiff, the Sarabi, shepherd dog, and the Persian Sarabi Mastiff, about whom modern sinology knows extremely little. This is partly due to the fact that only a few dozen specimens of this breed live in Europe. Its prevalence is gradually increasing in the USA, but they are very popular in China, Russia, and the Middle East. However, there is very little access to information from Iran, partly because of the local Islamic laws. What seems certain is that Sarabi dogs may have evolved before the spread of Islam around the city of Sarab in ancient Persia in what is now Iran's East Azerbaijan province. For many centuries, they may have been used primarily as livestock guardia dogs against local predators. However, they also appear as war dogs in ancient depictions, and the Persians used seemingly similar dogs in battle, for example, in Darius's army, even in campaigns against the Greeks. These dogs are special in this respect as well, as they have performed tasks typical of shepherd dogs for centuries, but they also performed molosser-like tasks. What's certain is that today, the population of Iran considers them one of the oldest breeds. They are extremely respected by the locals and the value of these dogs increases in proportion to their size and, of course, their ability to work. In the case of Cerebus, similarly to Turkish Malaklai, these are dogs of enormous size whose height at the withers can reach up to 90-95 centimeters, and their weight often approaches 100 kilograms. This typically mastiff-looking and characteristic dog comes in two variants, with long or short fur length. Their fur can be brown, yellow, black, or white spotted. Their buildup is extremely robust, with thick bones and a wide chest. With strong, column-like legs and with very massive muscles. Their characteristic eyes are usually amber-colored. Despite their far above the average size, the movement of the Sarabi is surprisingly dynamic, at a level rarely seen in today's Mastiffs and oversized Shepherd dog breeds. This special Persian breed differs significantly from the giant dogs known in the Western world in one more way. They are extremely healthy, there are no inherited genetically based diseases among them, and as a real curiosity, they have very long lives, 12 or even 15-year-old. Individuals are quite common among them. Who is Sarabi for? As these dogs are getting increasingly popular and widespread in the United States, especially among livestock farmers, the AKC has recently published fairly accurate recommendations on its website regarding the question posed. The three most important of these are, these dogs are extremely exercise intensive, so keeping them requires huge spaces and an active lifestyle. In addition, their prey instinct is quite strong. 
They find it difficult to tolerate other dogs of the same sex next to them, but also other pets, like cats, small animals, if they have not grown up with them from puppyhood. Thirdly, Sarabi is the breed that is not recommended at all for first-time dog owners, for weak characters, and also not for urban citizens or people living in apartments. However, they are ideal working dogs on a ranch where farm animals are present, since this huge breed with above average strength is characterized by a very high degree of mobility compared to its size. It is regularly predestined to endure extreme weather conditions. Moreover, it is content with minimal food compared to its stature. Its iron body utilizes almost everything and converts it into energy. According to the descriptions, they are extremely loyal to their owners and his family, but at the same time they are implacable guard dogs who are extremely suspicious and offensive towards strangers. This breed can also give up a lesson for experienced dog owners because throughout their history, a high degree of independence and efficient problem-solving of tasks have always been expected of Cerebus, even in the absence of their owners. Therefore, for today's Westerners, these dogs fall into the category of difficult or unmanageable, which is no wonder. It can cause serious problems if an almost 100 kilogram Cerebi takes matters into his hand and tries to settle a perceived or real conflict in his own way.